Ladies and gentlemen, Brits and normal people, gamers and whoever the fuck this guy is. That's it, you're done for! Yeah, kick his butt! Don't do it! Up, down, right, right, down, left, up, 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 down, right, right... What is he doing? A combo move? SHOOT ME! FUCKING SHOOT ME! Moving on from that, the main sort of focus of this channel is to delve into the history of certain internet personalities. However, we haven't really delved out of the commentary ecosystem, so I thought I might as well make a video on something I've been meaning to talk about for a while. And there's one guy who can best represent it. Many of you won't recognize him by name, however you will recognize him by something else entirely. Yandere High School. So for those of you who are still clueless about what I'm talking about, don't worry because we're going to get into it soon, but we're going to have to deliver some exposition for the man behind the Minecraft skin before we delve into his legacy. Sam England, or as most people online will know him as Sam Gladiator, started his YouTube channel back in January of the ancient year of 2008. Now if you know Sam for anything, it's for his Minecraft videos, but if you do two seconds of googling, you're going to realize Minecraft wasn't released until halfway through 2009. So what was Sam doing for these beginning years? Like many young teenage boys, Sam Gladiator was playing Halo. I only prefer internet girlfriends. Is anyone with me? Yeah. Girlfriends in real life are a total bore. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. And while most of these videos were lost to time, you can still find a couple collabs he did with other creators, as well as one Halo machinima that is still up on his channel. Wait, Zog? What's a machinima? You see, for you youngsters out there, machinima, a combination of machine and cinema that they somehow misspelled, is a term used to describe the usage of video games as a visual format to tell a story. With the earliest example being Diary of a Camper, a 1996 machinima in the game Quake, where a group of five players have a battle with a camper, where it is revealed that the camper was... Quake developer John Romero. Oh, I like that joke. This probably has not aged well. And while this description is sort of stylized in an official format, often machinimas were just shit friends dead in their free time. A perfect example is the series Definitely Accidental, a Minecraft machinima made by the now YouTuber Mitsan, which consisted of jokes such as this. Guys, sex is funny. Live, please. This is where Sam comes onto the scene, with him making Minecraft machinimas with his friends Zykron and Tortoise. This is where Minecraft starts to get increasingly popular, with creators like Skynet's Minecraft, Bayesian Canadian, and Minecraft Universe becoming virtual superstars. And with machinimas becoming increasingly more professional, Sam moved towards more general Minecraft content with people like Einstein and the Fear Razor, with some non-Minecraft content sprinkled in here and there. One of the bigger channels at the time, the Yogg's Cast, started to mess with the concept of interactive storytelling, where a story was told in side of a video game through the player's actions with it. Sam saw this and was inspired by it, trying it out for himself in a series called Minecraft Adventure, with people such as Gizzy Gaza and SGC Barbarian featuring in certain mini sagas. The most important series out of this experimentation would have to be his Five Nights at Freddy's one, with him toying around with using Google Trends to specifically craft shows that would generate the most popularity, and it succeeded with this one in particular, with the first video of the series currently sitting at nearly 3 million views, which would lead him to try this format again with another game that was because becoming extremely trendy at the time, Yandere Simulator. On August 17th, 2015, Sam Gladier uploaded the first episode of Yandere High School with the newly coined term Minecraft Roleplay going alongside it. This episode's plot mainly is just the main characters, Sam and Tortoise, interacting with a very charmingly weird town on their first day of school, with such wacky scenarios as them getting into a bath with their gym teacher, throwing fucking carrots at women so they'll have sex with them, and meeting the bearded trans icon, Invader Blart. Whoa, look at that guy. Girl? That's a girl, Hello. dude. That's a girl? That's a woman? Well, often I would um, just spend time, you know, thinking to myself what the story is going to be. And then, you know, maybe four hours before a recording, I would get all of the crew and all of the actors and stuff together. And I would sit down and I would spend, you know, three, four hours uh, at a time kind of directing and explaining all of the scenes that will take place, all of the main actions, 
and some of the dialogue that we would need to transition to the next scene. And um, a lot of the dialogue as well for the actors was improv, but it was only improv in between the spaces of like say point A and point B. All of this effort paid off, with the 100 episodes of Yandere High School on its own having a grand total of 50 million views. The series ended there, with a new series in the same universe, which is called Tokyo Soul, coming onto the scene afterwards. This is where the controversy comes in however, because during all of this the main characters had always been Sam, Tortoise, and the new addition, Grion. However, at the end of the first season of Tokyo Soul, Tortoise and Grion were nowhere to be found, which threw a lot of Sam's fanbase off. Yeah, I just, I just don't really like to say, basically, because I don't want to give them any drama. I don't want to spread any rumors. There's been a lot of BS rumors that, you know, uh, I've seen, like, um, there's, like, a bunch. Um, one was that they were only in it for the money or something like that, and so I kicked them. N not true. Another one was the reverse of that, which was I was only in it for the money and they left or whatever. That's also not true. So it has nothing to do with money. Uh, it, it was just, we simply had a disagreement on a particular subject and, and that was it. At this point, Sam started to branch out a little bit more, with him going back to his roots previous to Yandere High School with a wide array of trendy roleplays coming to his channel. At this point, however, as the cultural zeitgeist started to shift away from the widespread edginess of 2016, a certain subset of people started to get a little bit upset at the more, let's say, adult jokes or events of the series. There was one joke that galvanized the movement a fair bit. The joke itself wasn't even said by Sam, but when a character was getting tortured off screen, one of the main characters essentially had a joke where he said it was easier to flex your thighs it makes it go down easier <laughs> now for many of you the thought that something that fairly mute can generate a controversy is a little absurd and i'd agree i still want to discuss their arguments seriously just to make sure you guys don't think i'm strawmanning them in any way their argument stated it was irresponsible for sam to make a joke about something that could upset people as a whole their argument misses some key context that makes it seem incoherent at best i'm not going to pull out the excuse of it was a different time or something like that but rather i'd say the joke itself wasn't even out of the norm for sam's channel so family guy was great i think south park is is freaking hilarious it was more just like a toned down version of like south park and, and all of that really crude humor i think another one was it's always sunny in philadelphia i love that show and i love the dynamic of the characters you've got like um Danny DeVito and, and and all those guys and they have this really deranged delusional rationale for for why they come to the conclusions that they come to as you can see sam's influences weren't child-friendly kind of stuff and this is representative of his work since even before yandere high school so in my opinion the concept that sam somehow was wrong with that joke or any other joke is pretty stupid because going into one of his role plays expecting a purely family-friendly experience is a wrong assumption to make however well before sam was the pioneer of this genre his work had inspired many other people to make role plays entirely out of trend and because of that, his content wasn't getting as much attention as it used to. So his channel took another fundamental shift towards real life skits, which ended up doing pretty well. However, after that, due to problems setting up these more professional videos, he just ended up stopping. And this leads to one of the fundamental reasons I've been meaning to cover this genre for a while. Mostly because my start on YouTube, as I've mentioned plenty of times, was Minecraft roleplays. <laughs> My ego. Sam Gladiator in particular I had always been a big fan of back in the day, and his Gondary High School videos always fill me up with a sense of nostalgia that's really hard to capture. So being able to speak to him to make this video is honestly one of the crazier experiences I've had on this channel. And after speaking to Sam and learning more about the behind the scenes of content that really influenced my career, it only made sense to use him as the focus of this homage to my old content. And while the mainstream opinion of Minecraft roleplays is that they're cringy, which if we're being completely honest here isn't entirely undeserved, if you ask the same person about Sam Gladiator in particular, a lot of them will separate him from the rest of the chaff because his content was so different and influential for the time, even for people that were never really into the genre in particular. Sam Gladiator, and more specifically Sam Gladiator's work, will remain an integral piece of the puzzle of 2010's YouTube, and in all honesty, who would want anything else? I wanna go where the sunset is now Can you show me? Strung out around my neck now Hope I 
can't see it.